Okay, hello everyone. My name is Roland Martland. I'm the CEO of Executive Safety and Risk Services. We are a company that provides specialist consulting and HC risk management, leadership, all aspects of technical and operational safety, incident investigation, asset integrity, and related issues connected with industries such as oil and gas, offshore and onshore, nuclear industry, civil aviation industry, and construction related industries. I'm here today to talk to you about a masterclass that I'm running in conjunction with Opus Kinetic of Singapore. This three day masterclass is connected with and concerned with how to integrate human factors within the design and operational risk framework. Integrating human factors effectively is a key element to mitigate risks to as low as reasonable practicable or a LARP. Within this workshop, which, covered, which is a three-day session, you will look at all aspects of organizational design, effective attributes of leaders from a human and organizational perspective, the design of organizations, how designs can actually encourage human error, the problems associated with operations and putting too much loading on your frontline staff, and how that in itself could lead and has led to many major accidents around the world. As you can see on the uh, first slide of the course agenda, day one, session one, covers management systems to create consistent behaviour in high hazard industries. We will be looking at all aspects of the elements of effective management systems and policy documents to create best human behaviour and performance and many other issues associated with leadership and safety culture. That session finishes with a case study on how to build corporate and organisational HC management systems within the business. Session two is an introduction to human factors, error types and performance management. In this session we'll be looking at uh, issues such as how organisational drift can create a recipe for disaster, describing human for error types, performance shaping factors and so forth. Session two finishes with a team breakout on how to identify human error types and the old and new thinking with regard to error, human error causation factors. A very, very interesting session I think you will benefit greatly from. Session three on day one is mitigating human errors through facility design. Does it work? Uh, there is a thought in the industry that uh, if we could eliminate Complexity in operations, make operations as simple as possible, take away the human, human error aspect, then our facilities themselves would operate safely. Unfortunately, that is really, really difficult to achieve in practice. We will finish that session with a look at a major explosion at the Forma, Formosa Chemicals plant and look at how the design of the plant caused human error in that case. Day, day one finishes with organisational management of asset integrity and process safety and projects. Again, key to creating the environment for safe operations post the completion of the project. Day two, day two, session five, delivering human performance in operations. How does that get achieved in practice? Well, from the leadership point of view, how do we do effective leadership visits? to improve human performance during the execution of tasks, the benefits of dynamic risk assessment, recognising hazards, providing some resilience through the effective management of change process on personnel, and continuous improvement using the lessons learned process. So we actually learn from why we make mistakes and how to correct them in the future. Day two finishes with uh, an, operation, an operating hazardous plans to mitigate human error and looking at the Texas City Refinery Explosion. Second session six on day two, incident investigations, looking at human error being a symptom rather than a cause of the accident itself. We will particularly be concentrating on issues such as the just culture model and how companies deal with what appears to be a human error only cause of an accident. 
in that session, it, which will be quite a significantly long session, we will have two case studies as noted in the overhead slides in front of you. One is from the US and one is from the UK. Day three. Day three, session eight, competency management and development systems. How can we create competency within our organization? How do we design the organization effectively to maximize performance? I will then go through a case study from my practical experience of how to best develop competency implementation in a global business during a major project execution startup. If you get it right from the beginning, then you will have less problems during the operational phase. Second session on day three, developing high performance in major accident hazard industries. So we're looking really at getting to the best performance we can possibly from our organization. And I will be, particularly in this case, doing an extensive breakout session on high reliability organizations and from the recent Boeing 7367 MAX aircraft disasters, you'll be able to see how a company the size of Boeing is effectively not being able to manage a high reliability delivery, which led to two fatal crashes. The session on day three then completes with future issues and human factors. Looking at system com complexity, can we ever make systems inherently more safe and reliable, looking at some of the aspects that uh, degrade human performance, particularly cyber security and its impact on major accidents, and finishing with using remote operations and enhanced data management to make plant inherently safer. We will do several case studies on cyber security risks in that session. The final session will be a last class closeout. What did we learn? How do you want to improve your human factors management in your organisation? I hope that you will benefit from this course, which will be really interactive with lots of case studies. You will be asked to complete a questionnaire for, at the beginning of the course, so I will be able to tailor specifically how the course fits in with your requirements. It is something that the whole of the industry is still struggling with, which is effectively delivering better human performance in the management of major accidents and operational safety. I look forward to meeting you in Singapore with Opus Kinetic, and at the end of the course, you will also gain a CPD, Continuous Professional Development Points, which you can use in your future career in order to get chartered as a process safety specialist or an occupational safety specialist. Bye for now, see you in Singapore.